Main camp. Sun camp. Oh, man. <laughs> How's your week going, Rex? Does a fly bother me for some reason? Two fly don't bother me. All right. <laughs> I think I might just leave that in. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. How's your, how's your week going? How's my rec yeah, going? Re well, I had it right the first time, but apparently the fly took precedence. Okay. <laughs> oh, my. Like, how's your week going? It was going good, so the fucking fly showed up. <laughs> no. Bing! <laughs> There's one. <laughs> mm. Oh. Yeah, like like you had it, in, it was perfect. Like the best week I've ever had in my, and then this fly, it's all downhill. <laughs> this is great. I had seven instead of six sausages. It was what? awesome. Mm. Rex loves sausages. No, I do not. Yes. Not in this universe. You buy six of them. You know, it's, it's a personal best. But you know, it's fate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, like, this week is pretty good so far. You look like you haven't had a good week. No, it's just, uh, well, I'm just tired. Oh, okay. Because I thought you were going for like the Oscar nomination. Oh, the Academy Award goes for less sleep goes to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you watch the last Oscars? No, the one that I watched, the last one I think I watched live was, I'd like to thank Damien. <laughs> <laughs> and he supported everyone up on that stage. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Inside joke. <laughs> Sign up for the Patreon. I'll tell you what it really means. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I watched last uh, last year's Oscars. Oh, this, sorry, sorry, this year's Oscars. The last Oscars. Where uh, Parasite won for not only Best Foreign Film, but, but Best Picture. Yeah. All right. Uh, I really enjoyed that movie. Uh, did I see that with you? Uh, what? I Parasite? think I saw Parasite on my own. No, I don't yeah, because it was like, I went to AMC Raceway 10. It was like the one of the last showings. Like yeah, after I remember, that, it was I like remember. done. <laughs> yeah. So then I was like, then I, I got home about like one in the morning and I had to be up for work. You know, one of the reasons why I don't sleep, folks. <laughs> All right. Um, we had a lot of good categories this past, you know, nominations this past year. Yep. But this year, uh, with the, uh, the human malware virus, mm -hmm. hit it, <laughs> uh, everything got shut down taffer style uh, you're gonna get people sick exactly. shut it down <laughs> and there has been i think the last movie i saw in theaters was the invisible man um i didn't see invisible man in theaters but i did see there was a couple i saw before this before the uh oh it was um, going to be actually for me bloodshot but I listened to my father. My father begged me not to go to the theater. I was like, fine, I won't go. I'll stay home. Yeah, because I didn't, I wanted to see Bloodshot. And it was the week after that everything. I, I, I was going to see it on the second week. And I remember, I think I ordered my tickets. And then mm -hmm. everything got shut down. Gotcha. All right, well, the biggest questions with everything getting shut down was the Oscars. Usually the range of for you, for you to show a film to be considered for the Oscars, you have to show uh, show the film before mm -hmm. December 31st of that year, the end of the year. Yeah. All right. That's one of the reasons why that sometimes where certain movies get a small release just to make Oscar contention. Yes. All right. Because the moment, like, I believe the, the protocol is if, as long as it shows in major cities. Yes. Like, it's got to be like, like New York, Los Angeles, and I believe Chicago. Yeah. It's like, you know, the five major cities, you know, I think like. But as long, and, and it doesn't have to have like a, a um like a widespread AMC type release. It can be in the IFC theaters, you know, on 59th Street for all they care, as long as it makes it there. Exactly. That's the, I think that's what they do. There was a lot of movies. I think Clerks Two had a release similar to that. Mm -hmm. Ghost in the Shell. Um, the uh, Ghost in the Shell Two. I remember when I tried to go see it. Uh, I tried to catch like the last showing. Um, Ghost in the Shell Two. Johansson Bogos. No, well, oh, I'm sorry, the animated one. Uh, yeah, which I somewhere in this mess. Yeah, and I'm mess. so confident it's right. Yeah, we spent what forty five minutes looking for the Joker, and it was right next to Johnny <laughs> Mnemonic. <laughs> I mean, when you put two masterpieces together, it's easy to oversee one. 
<laughs> Listen, let's not call Johnny Mnemonic. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I like Johnny Mnemonic. I really do. I own <laughs> Jay Yorn on Blu-ray. I didn't go that far. <laughs> but I own that movie. I enjoy it very much. Masterpiece? Uh, I know. It uh, is. It's like he calls it's, it a masterpiece. And everyone wonders why I make fun of him about his hate on Colin Farrell. Well, the man can't act. But man can act circles. And I hope he can never win an Oscar. Uh, <laughs> I will sacrifice any goat I have to whichever devil. <laughs> but yeah, so I want your soul done, your son's soul double done, <laughs> double. Done. But see, that's the thing. The um, yeah, like you said, with the Oscars, everything being pushed back. What's going to happen if there's no major theatrical release mm-hmm. and all of that? To me, and we, I, we had this conversation before. I don't know if this was recorded at the time or yeah. not it's, it's just a blend together yeah it, 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 one big blur <laughs> um where we're talking about you know wondering what's gonna happen pardon me are they gonna re-release are they gonna force a release or what's gonna happen or are they gonna say hey because of this whole human malware situation yes we'll make exceptions this year or what but now we finally mm-hmm. got our answer they're not gonna. Can, real quick, can we rename this from the human malware virus to the Toretto beverage virus? Oh, I thought you were gonna say, can we rename this to the um, Tom Hanks disease? Tom Hanks. I thought of it, but no, I think I that's actually lo- a lot of people are referring to the Tom Hanks disease. Really? Yeah. So I don't know, we I don't be know the- if I want to be like everyone else and just be different and just call it the uh, the Toretto beverage uh, disease. The Toretto pre- No, <laughs> no, no, no. We're calling it Tom Hanks disease, folks. Oh, God. <laughs> Vote in the comment section which one you want to be called, please. All six bots of you. All six, <laughs> yes, thank you. And for the bot that wrote that you asked me if you want to be friends, I'll think about it. That's <laughs> so true. Mm-hmm. All right, show me what Pokemon cards you have first, and we'll make the decision from there. <laughs> mm. So, now with Tom Hanks' disease, yeah, <laughs> movie's getting pushed back. It was beginning. To, everyone was wondering what the fuck's gonna happen with the. Oh, yeah, <laughs> two ding. <laughs> Rex promised me a brand new toy if I if I try to really <laughs> wind back the you know the swearing. So yeah, giving yeah. my fucking best. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> now he's just doing it on pur- pur- purpose, folks. <laughs> on focus perps. <laughs> on, on focus perps. <laughs> You heard it here, perps. <laughs> so, so the Oscars are, uh, earlier today. You sent me a notification mm-hmm. from uh, from Collider stating that they were uh, the uh, the governors of the Oscars, which I didn't realize they had governors. Yeah, I didn't either. This was news to me. I was just like, I just thought it was just a bunch of people in the room who were like, "I liked Jojo Rabbit. Me too." They've decided they wanted to sit down and make a decision as to what they were going to do with the Oscars. And right before we started getting ready to record, ComingSoon.net just rep- uh, just dropped a uh, report stating that they've officially come out and stated that they have pushed back the eligibility. So it's no longer going to be from December 31st. It's going to be the February 28th. Mm-hmm. Which right. I didn't. I didn't think they were going to do. I, I was in the air about. But I, personally, I didn't want them to do. Cause I, just because I wanted Bad Boys for Life to get an Oscar nomination. <laughs> I really did. Oh, no. Will Smith would be denied his Oscar. Sorry. <laughs> that's, just, that's just wrong. And they've also pushed back, because usually the Oscars is around February. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. the Oscars next year, Oscars 2021, will be in April. April 25th, if yep. I'm not mistaken. And they're not doing it, Um, they're not going to do a pre-recorded show like they normally do. I think it said it was going to do a live. I believe they've been doing it live for some time, though, actually. Re- did they? Live, really? This year's was live. This year's was live, because I remember yep. a couple of years ago, it wasn't. Like two years ago, I don't think they were live. Like mm. last year was live. This year is live. Last year was live. You know they probably did the one year not live because of the freaking mo- uh, the moonlight is situation. Oh um, my! <laughs> <laughs> that producer was pissed. Uh, oh yeah, they they pulled the uh, they pulled they pulled uh, the Steve, uh, Steve Harvey. Harvey. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I was trying to say Harvey, but I didn't want to say the wrong Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's exactly uh, that's exactly it. All right, so with now this being pushed back on top of that, we've been hearing left and right about certain movies getting pushed back. Wonder Woman pushed, pushed back, back to October. Yep. 
You have uh, was it the production of the Matrix? I think they also got pushed back, which also pushed back its release date. Yep, to twenty twenty two. I mean, hell. Um, so my uh, question was it was interesting. Godzilla versus King Kong got pushed back to twenty twenty one, which now made James Bond's new movie, uh, No Time to Die, move up five days. To November yeah, 20th. I didn't understand how that worked because I yeah, saw ideally, that. Because if I'm mistaken, that's around because that's around Thanksgiving weekend. Yeah, and they and it, but they're trying to they're trying to you know get everything on that, but it when everybody's pushing back, you're pushing forward. On yeah, that. It, and, and it's just on that ju- on just a very few very few select movies that yeah, are being tend pushed, to push like. back a week because Warner Brothers didn't want to displease uh, Christopher uh, Nolan. Exactly. They were originally going to push it back from what I heard. They were going to push it back even further, but uh, Christopher Nolan like, was you know, like, no, 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 push it back. What do you think about doing no, Justice I'm, League? I'm sorry. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll push it back just two weeks. Two weeks. Still, still in July. Still in July. Just, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> we told you July. We just didn't say when. I, I don't July. know what pictures uh, Christopher Nolan has on who if I... Probably mm. the same one Martin Scorsese has that allows him to have a three and a half hour film. You mean the six and a half hour movie director's <laughs> cut? The Scorsese cut. <laughs> Hashtag release the Scorsese cut. <laughs> but yeah, these. Yeah. And and my question too is so Oscars being really the first big announcement when it comes to awards. What about everything else? What what, what hell? What happens to the Razzies? Because we all care about the Razzies, you know? <laughs> no. I want to guess who's going to get Stinker of the Year. Yeah. Uh, and does Spiral that mean? Hurt, Harley Quinn, and the Birds of Prey. Oh. I I so hope. See, I want See, that to happen. I just don't think it will. I think there's going to be a movie that comes out that's going to be so bad. It's going to make it hard. Make Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey look phenomenal. Like an Oscar nomination. That's how bad I think this is going to be. I give credit to uh, Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey. After I saw that movie, I was like, yo, I need a, really need a fucking egg sandwich with hot sauce. Rex doesn't understand that reference because he didn't see the movie. I, saw I the did movie. see the movie. You saw that movie? When did you see the movie? I wa- it was during the whole... Lockdown, human, well, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Tom, Tom Hanks, Hanks disease. disease. Uh, you know, yeah, me and uh, the uh, significant other watched it, and mm-hmm. um, it's pretty bad. I'm going to put it like what that. What did you think I th- came out of the theater? What did I say? I showed you the pictures. I showed pictures from when I was in the theater. There was like fucking no one there. Yeah. And I know why now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you, you can't tell me you went and looked at that when they were making that egg sandwich. You're like, at least with me, I hadn't eaten all fucking day when I saw. <sighs> well, I had, and I was. That didn't look appealing at all to me. Uh huh. Yeah, try to be going against the grain. Go ahead. What? You know me and bacon. Hmm? You can get it without the bacon. Yeah. <laughs> but you can get it with sausage. We know you like sausage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Have like six sausage patties just stacked up. You know, I have a burger so big, you have fucking Wendy's and Burger King just staring at you like, you can do that? In yes, I know. Case. That's number four. <laughs> well, here comes number five. I said, oh! <laughs> Any case. That's the only way I'm going to get the DJ count. <laughs> I think you're actually at five or six now. No, I'm at five. I've been keeping count. <laughs> Sure, you have. <laughs> At least I'm sure I'm keeping count. <laughs> yeah. Um, there are going to be some films that are going to benefit from this, you know, especially the certain ones that have been releasing to a premium VOD. Like I've been hearing a lot of good things about Spike Jones, uh, the blood, the blood five oh, or, or the five blood. I'm the, sorry, I'm probably butchering that. But I've been hearing a lot of good things. Yeah. I'll make I'll make it around to watching it. You know, I'm still scarred of the last movie I just watched. Oh, <laughs> Ooh. haven't watched it yet, folks. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Get the fuck out of my head. So anyway. Well, in any case, do you think that, Um, I mean, I don't even know if movies are going to be coming back, or like if they're going to be having uh, normal releases, really. Mm-hmm. And what even if they do have a normal release, it's going to be like a limited release? Like, yeah, very limited at this rate. Yeah. Um. Because even some of the states that even opened back up kind of have freaked out. Things started shutting down again. Um, I know when I know in China, wow, like a month ago, 
they, they tried to open back up and then immediately had to shut right back down. So, and and one of the big things was like, yeah, you can go to the theater. And it was like, ah, maybe that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> so, like, yeah, go to the theater, have fun. And about like a couple days later, our bed. Yeah. But um, I think that, I think, you know, one of the big things now is it's not going to have to be a, a critical success mm-hmm. to be, you know, an Oscar nomination or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's the outside birds. Why? I wasn't sure if this it was just the movie I watched last night. I just wasn't sure if it just like, it just, it you're just, hearing it anything just <laughs> in my head. I can't get it out. I can't get it out. It's like burrowed into my brain. Oh, I thought it was scratching at the back of my <laughs> scraping at the door. <laughs> Still my favorite line in that movie. That movie was terribly good. <laughs> <laughs> it was horribly amazing. <laughs> but yeah, so now that the Oscars was the first one with the that was so brave, stunning and brave. To push things back, do you think they're going to be the only ones? Personally, no. Okay, I think uh, you know because I'm waiting. He also here for probably Golden Globes is going to do it as well. You got the SAGs are going to have to do it. Of course, they yeah. Have a selection of actors. What are they going to just go and pick Will Smith in all five movies he did this year? <laughs> Will Smith and Aladdin. Will Smith and Aladdin was last year. Ah, well, I mean, <laughs> they, they're making together. exceptions to the rules. Rags is gonna get get changed. Golden Globe, SAG, all that is gonna move up. Yeah, I think everything's gonna be changing. Um, if the WWE Hall of Fame class of twenty twenty got pushed back all the way to this summer, other things are gonna change. Yeah, but I think that also, I think that even though the Oscars is going to try to uh, do a live event and try to have um, people. There, Oscar is one of those um, those award ceremonies that even if everybody doesn't show up, they pay extras to try to be there. Yeah, because they want the seats exactly because they want they the whole place to look do packed. that. Time will tell, my friend. I guess one of, that's one of the benefits that we're having is done in April. Mm-hmm. All right, April twenty twenty one. We're currently in June of twenty twenty. Yeah. All right. And it just keeps just barreling down, going downhill in a downward spiral. But we have time. There's a significant amount of time. Allegedly. we have Allegedly. Time. <laughs> we have 10 months before we get there. Okay. So we're going to keep an eye out, folks, on that. We're going to see mm-hmm. what other awards maybe, you know, if, you know, I'm, I'm hoping to see what the Razzies do. I really do. I, I The Razzies are totally worth it. To know what the what the biggest thinker of the year was. No, yes. <laughs> well, voted because sometimes they're wrong, but sometimes there are such bad bombs that you don't even. You're like, how did? What? <laughs> you know, it's bad when they're actually like, I'm not touching that. Exactly, 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 exactly. They watched the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Still haven't watched it. <laughs> they CGI'd the flames, bro. <laughs> okay. Yep. And the thing about that movie that pissed me off. What's that? It wasn't the first movie filmed entirely in slow motion like like Futurama predicted. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't mind watching Dwayne the Rock. I mean Rock Dwayne. John- Rock the Dwayne Johnson. Du- Rock the Dwayne Johnson <laughs> running in slow motion for two hours. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure. I don't think there's not, there's not a person, a human on this earth that wouldn't just, just be there like, how? Well, like, seriously, how? Although, you know what? His arms are the size of my head. But you know what? If they had did that, I guarantee they would have sold millions of gym membership. Oh, yeah. Every man in America would have been like, I, I don't know. I, I need I, to listen, pick something up. <laughs> I'm a big wrestling fan. The Rock, oh, The Rock was one of my favorites. All right, but I honestly, because I do have a gym membership, and I was going regularly uh, up until the Tom Hanks disease hit. Uh huh. And then there have been times in which I'm in the gym and I'm getting my workout in, and I'm feeling good. I'm like, yeah, look at that. And then here comes this dude who looks like something ripped out of an action film. 
<laughs> he just look comes, like he could rip and the then Hulk he looks at, he'll go on the machine that was just on, and I'm just thinking like, yeah, I just stacked the weights on there, and he's all like, huh, put 50 pounds more on top of this. I'm like, I don't even want to be here anymore, man. <laughs> go home and eat a box of Twinkies. <laughs> they do have an expiration date, actually, despite what people think. You mean Zombieland lied to me? <laughs> but are you sure? Have you seen Woody Harrelson's face? Yeah, that's what. That's a trustworthy face. Yeah, granted, he killed a bunch of people in Natural Born Killers, but that just, that face just screams, "Trust me." Just watch Zombieland too. No, did you ever see Double Tap? I did see Double Tap. Oh, okay. we're getting a little off topic. Yeah, oh, severe. Yeah, but that's what you get when you come to this show. Rambling rants and um, mm-hmm. nonsensical fun. All right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> all right. Yeah. You get all this. A man who loves his sausage and a man who's probably had one too many. Yeah. Guess which one's which. <laughs> I think it's quite obvious. Yeah. Too many. Especially when they look at my camera and you know, they see all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Somebody's watching at home and someone walks into the room. Oh, my God. Is that 3D? It's like his rolls are coming right at me. I, I think I cropped you out. So I think you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're getting on a tangent. This yes, is definitely going to yes. be a longer video than we intended. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's going to be fun. What else do you have to say on this matter? Um, be prepared, folks, for the Academy Award winning, the Oscar nominated Bad Boys for Life. Oh, my <laughs> brother. Testify. <laughs> Big Willie style, you deserve your Oscar. <laughs> All right, well, it sounds like a jiggy with it. <laughs> Rex wasn't expecting that. I was not. That's why I said <laughs> while he was drinking something. <laughs> Listen, I already got two people that squirted uh, something out of their nose this year from me saying some shit. I'm Ooh. looking to up that quota. I, I'm i glad you said nose. <laughs> <laughs> That would be sorry, Rex. That would be a bigger number. <laughs> <laughs> Epic fail. Drop <laughs> that one out. <laughs> you know it's just gonna be a. <laughs> it's split me out every time I say. Oh, I've been DJ. He's been Rex, and we are the, the Sons, Sons of, of Cinema. cinema. Till hey. next time. <laughs> I hate you. (laughs) (laughs) I know.